The Tech Nerdist channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to check us out on Patreon, pop over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. That's T-E-C-H-N-I-V-O-R-O-U-S. Here, we do our best to stay up to date on the latest and greatest in 3D printing and tech and keep you informed on the latest developments in these sectors. So, if you're interested in getting updates on 3D printing or technology such as programming, robotics, artificial intelligence, and things of that nature, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, leave a like on this video, and comment about what you'd like to see in the future because we make these videos for you. Hello folks and welcome to today's video. Now I have had some people asking me for quite a while to do a video on how to update the firmware for the TiVo Tarantula Pro and I've kind of been putting it off because I haven't really had any reason to make firmware changes to this machine yet. However, uh, I'm in the process of adding a Chimera dual extruder from E3D and in order to do that we need to add some extruder and hot end parts of code to the actual Arduino module, the Marlin, that we're going to drop through Arduino. So this video is basically going to show you how to compile and push a new sketch over to your TiVo Tarantula Pro using Marlin here. We have this basic Marlin version which is downloaded from the TiVo website. It's actually this version that you download right here under Tarantula Pro firmware 2019 June. I would expect an update to this to come out pretty soon because that one's about a year old, but it is really well worked and it functions really well. So you can see here we have our main configuration file. After downloading that, you are also going to need the Arduino IDE. And just one thing real quick I wanted to point out. Uh, if you come down here to the ports, you will most likely see serial ports and COM1, but you will not see COM8. And the reason for that is because you are missing the driver for the TiVo Tarantula Pro. So. If you're hooked up with your USB cable and you are not getting a port to show and you cannot access your printer, I'm going to put a video up right in the corner right up here. And if you click that link, it'll show you how to download the driver and get everything installed. And then just pop on back and, and see how to push the actual sketch. So we haven't made too many changes in here. This is the updated version. I recommend unless you know what you're doing or have time to experiment not to play around with it too much. Although if you stay in the configuration.h file, the chances of you actually bricking your printer are pretty low. So you can see I did go in here and I did up, update my extruders to be two extruders and I left the default nominal filament value. That is fine. There are a couple other things in here that I did change that you don't really need to worry about unless you're upgrading to dual extrude. Um, and that is, I have a different kind of thermistor in here and there's two of them. And as you can see, I'm using a 100,000 uh, thermistor ATC Semitech. Uh, this is basically the one that that is used in the uh, Chimera, and it's a big long rod thermistor. It's not the little glass one that that comes with the machine. So um, basically, here I'm saying, okay, I have two temperature sensors, and then one on the bed. I did not change that thermistor, so it is still a one. It's using the stock thermistor and then a few other settings. So um, I'm going to go ahead and push this over and I will show you how to do that right now. First it's going to need to compile it though and that will take a minute. So we'll go ahead and hit verify and we'll just keep scrolling through here and checking out a couple more things. Um, there is a spot in here that you can use to rename your printer and change the display of what shows up. Looks like it's done compiling already, pretty small sketch. It's using 48% of the program storage space, so that's not too bad. Um, let's go ahead, see if I can find this line real quick. Bed leveling, mesh, Additional features, okay, should be in here somewhere. So, I'm just kind of poking around. There's a nozzle clean feature, a park feature, um, LCD and support. This defines your screen. And that's all for your graphics, for your screen. Um, extra features. There are some other things in here that you can turn on and off. So. Um, definitely take a look at those. Looks like there's, uh, you can change the color for an RGB pin there. 
and pretty simple stuff. So let's go back up because I must have passed it up here. Um, here we go. Okay, so the string config h author, there's nothing in here, so it's not going to show up. Let's go ahead and put technivorous in there. And then we have it showing the boot screen. And it's going to play two flash line, splash lines. So short build version and the website. Um, you can go in and find these in one of these other files and change them if you wish to, but you don't need to. There is also a custom boot screen, custom status screen. So those are pretty normal. So what I'm looking for is actually right here. Define custom machine name. So... We just need to uncomment it there. And we're gonna label this Chimera T Pro. Now I'm gonna go over and load this real quick. Let me get my camera here. And that last file has done the trick. Let me show you a video, a little picture here of what our screen now looks like. And as you can see here, we have it pretty well wrapped up. Chimera T Pro ready. I have my dual extruders on there and we are pretty much ready to go. Now I will do a separate video going more in depth for the exact dual extrusion settings later on when I am done with the Chimera. But for now we are still making some adjustments so we'll leave that for another day. If this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Please leave a like down below. And I always love to get comments on what you'd like to see next. So sometimes it takes me a little bit to make a video but as you can see, I do eventually get it done, and here you are. So we'll see you in the next one, guys. Well, that's it, guys. That's going to wrap up this video. If you've noticed the shirt, the merch is available. Go ahead and check out the Teespring merch link down below. It won't be available on a channel store until I reach 10,000 subscribers, and so far I am just about to hit 5,000. So uh, it'll be a little while, a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel, but... They are available now. I have a couple other designs. Feel free to pop over there and check them out and know that any purchase through the Teespring site definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability to make videos in the future. So we appreciate all your support. Don't forget to check out the Teespring link. Check out our Patreon link. Leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.